Good morning, guys. How we doing? Welcome to our um, kickoff summer rollout uh, meeting that we have. Um, tell you a little bit about Elizabeth, which is pretty interesting. So one of these days, one day we were uh, trying to figure out how to get her to come to, to work with me, and uh, ultimately uh, she did. And I noticed that she was tired, and I didn't understand exactly why she was tired. And at the end of the day, you know, I said, hey, what's going on? And she says, man, I'm just working on these jobs. I said, oh, what do you mean here? You're my assistant. You're the executive uh, assistant for me. You're running, you're helping me run this company. And you're tired? She says, yeah, I've got to take care of my kids. Okay, well, so? She says, well, I work at the, um, I work at the casino, and uh, I have wait tables. I said, there's no assistant that's going to work for me that's going to be swinging her ass and working uh, doing that, that type of work. And so at the end of the conversation, uh, about uh, six months later, I'm not sure if you've ever met George. Uh, I didn't uh, think that she would ever be telling George this. So George walks in my office and she says, thank you so much for telling my wife not to swing her ass anymore. <laughs> Talk about being embarrassed. Long story short, uh, I really appreciate what she does, and I gotta tell you, she does help run this organization. Let's give her a hand real quick. So I started selling cars in 19, uh, 1983. My first year was 1984. My daughter was born uh, yesterday, uh, 38, 39 years ago. And so that's how long I've been in the car business. Um, I, I sold cars uh, seven days a week, six days a week, and on the seventh day I hand out cars on, on Sundays. And my vision was I wanted to uh, get out of the environment that I was in. We were back then we were in a definitely bar, uh, uh, buyer's market, not seller's market. And ultimately, as we went forward, I saw these people coming in and out of the business that I felt that should have made it and they didn't. And I wanted to create something that would be a way that we could develop people over a period of time. I saw these people coming in and out of the world that ultimately never got any type of training, never got any type of uh, motivation, never got any type of um, excitement, and were basically told, if you're ever lost, you're fired. That was the way it worked, and that's, the, and that's how I was introduced to the car business. Keep on going through that process. As we start going through uh, the dealerships, I, when I first met Jerry Dahmer, um, one of the things that I said to him is I would like to be able to buy multiple stores. And the reason I wanted to get multiple stores is not because I ever thought I was gonna be the owner of the company. I always wanted just to affect the people that we currently have, the community that we currently are living in. And so Jerry agreed with me, and over a period of time, Jerry's, you think Marty is conservative? He really is conservative. Jerry was extra conservative, is he not? I mean, he is very conservative, so he doesn't like to take risks. He, I promise you, he still has the first penny he ever made. A couple more pennies now because I paid for it. But um, long story short, he decided to sell us the, the company and we've developed that over a period of time. Our objective has been to develop this company to where we can get to a level that we need to get to so we can affect the communities that we live in. To include the families that are in this room, the people that are in this room, the community that we currently uh, serve. Uh, we were, we're over, um, Aaron, are we over 8 million meals yet? Yeah, we're over 8 million meals right now for the Kansas City Marketplace. Isn't that phenomenal? And that's you, you're doing it. Which is really cool. I mean, that's the piece that we all have to really pay attention to. So the reason that we're having this meeting today is for one simple reason, and that is I really want you to see, you know, there's over 200 people that ultimately the variable department touches. And uh, at the end of the day, if you really pay attention to that conversation, you only, we only recognized uh, about 30 people in this room. Uh, but what the intent is, is so that you as an individual have a way that you can go out and raise your standards. Whatever your standard is, listen to what Marty's message was. And we didn't rehearse this, but my, my message to you is, is that what is your potential? What is the action that you're gonna have? What beliefs do you believe in? and are the results that you're getting a must or a should? So let me ask you a question. When you get a result, is it a must or a should? The result that you have is a must. That's it. Pay attention to your paycheck, that's a must. That's, that's what it comes down to. So the reality is, is that what is the standard that you wanna set for yourself? The intent of announcing these people that, these 30 some odd people that we just announced, we, we didn't announce Topeka, by the way, we, just got the, the ticket naming rights for the 
uh, the arena out in uh, uh, Topeka. And that's why they're not here. We're going to do the same process for Topeka um, next week, Aaron, is that right? Week? Two weeks. Okay, the 15th. And so the, the intent is, is that, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that we affect, but what is your standard that you want to get to? What is the standard that you want to have for yourself? Marty's asking us to have a 30 units or a 13 unit standard. Uh, I think that that's a fair number to go after. But the, the, the question is, what is your standard? You know, my standard has been eight to 10 dealerships.